Some fathers like to garden, some fathers like to climb on the roof and repair tiles and do all sorts of adventurous things. Others like to potter away in the tool shed. They all need some sort of apron. It's going to take secateurs or nails or hammers or screwdrivers or, or gardening gloves, all sorts of things that need to be tucked away for the job in hand. Now, this is a very simple one, very straightforward and made from nice, strong cotton fabric. The apron is just a square, oh, well, it's, sorry, it's an oblong, but it's been rounded off at the corners and I've made it completely from double layered fabric. And there's a series of pockets, as you see here, that can take all sorts of gadgets. Now at the side, and this is a consideration as to whether your father is right-handed or left-handed, there's a loop that will take a hammer or um, some sort of tool, perhaps a machete or whatever he might be doing at the time, and that hangs from the side at the waist. So do consider whether that's a right-handed or a left-handed father. Now just to show you a very simple process of building up those pockets, start with the one big layer of fabric, build it up to the next layer, like so, and then add the next little layer like that. And you'll see that the, um, the stitching down the side here, here is just to give that compartment for the secateurs or the smaller tools. So build up your layers and then either put bias binding around the edge or another layer of the, the big piece over the top, stitch it around the edge turn it to the right side and then add your waistband. Just a straight, long, straight strip. And that's your pocket. Pocket apron for gardeners or tool happy fathers. Now, in keeping with Channel 10's uh, Thailand competition at the moment, why not make a travel cushion? This one is perfect if he goes to the football or if he likes to sit and uh, fish or if he just likes to sit and uh, at look at the grass growing perhaps. Lots of fathers like to do that. This one is just a perfect uh, straight sided piece of foam rubber that I've actually put uh, wadding onto to soften it. A little pillow at the side. Just the little cushion that you can um, see. You can put your magazines or um, whatever else you might like to and a handle to carry it. Now if he's lucky enough to go off to Thailand with Channel 10 he might be able to take the cushion with him. And of course if he likes to read newspapers there we are. So, I wasn't nice laughing and simple. At you. I wasn't you had difficulty at you. getting here. I dropped something <laughs> over there and then I walked straight into the side of the bench. There was well, maybe you're wishing about Maybe he'd like to go to Thailand. I was actually a bit early in the morning, is it? <laughs> Making so, little cushion. Just zip it open at the bottom so it can be washed. But that one's very handy. And uh, you might find Mum wanting to steal that too. Actually, my so, granny had one of those. They're years terrific, ago. aren't they? Well, Good idea. Yes, yes. So, I like this idea though because I could have one of those too. Couldn't I've I? done Anyone that for all our family surf towels actually. That's terrific for sunglasses and. All those things. Put your cats in when you go to the beach <laughs> yes. and you get all really foggy <laughs> your and sun tan lotion or something, and it beats burying everything in the sand and not being able to find it later. No, that's an extremely mm. good idea, mm. as you say, particularly. I mean, being serious for a moment, for your sun tan oil yes, and a couple things. of dollars that you might tack mm. down to get a. You a can still bury it, but there's more chance of finding it. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Tony. I hope you're feeling better. Soon. Oh, I'm full of beans. Go and have a hot toddy. Yes. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. And we'll we you, see Jane. you next week alive. Definitely. Definitely. Good. Definitely. Good. Well, thanks for today. Pleasure. Bye bye. And <laughs> if you would like instructions for making these great ideas for your dad, just write to Father's Day Gifts, Post Office Box 9865 in your capital city.